In today's video, I'd like to show you how to create something similar to this for your digital planners and journals. We're going to be using Procreate today and some of the planner brushes that I've created. So you can pick any color that you like. I've just chosen these ones for today's exercise. So let's start by going back to the gallery and creating a new canvas by clicking on the plus symbol at the top right. Now for this exercise, I'm going to choose A4, which is in your list in Procreate. So click that and that will open up an A4 size canvas for you. The brush that I'm going to start with is the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday planner. So here's my color palette right now that I've created myself. But to get true black or true white, all you have to do is tap near those colors and you'll have that color. I'm choosing the black to use as my stamp but you can choose any color that you like. So we'll start with this brush here and I've got it set to full size and full opacity. Tap somewhere in the middle of your screen and then with the selection tool here you can, I've got it set on a magnetic which you can see right down at the bottom magnetic you can choose free form I've got it to magnetic sometimes I choose the other and then you can move it anywhere on the page that you like I usually leave a little gap on the right hand side just to allow for the page crease in the DigiBujo digital bullet journal tap again on the selection tool to release obviously you can uh, move that again if you're not happy with where it's placed so now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer above that layer with the plus sign and change over now to this brush month of so you can tap anywhere on your screen it doesn't matter because we can now move that and it's on its own layer I'm going to position that just about there tap again and release so now that I'm happy with where those are both placed I'm going to combine merge those layers by tapping on the top one that we've just created and selecting merge down they're one layer now. Now here's where some of the <coughs> coloring um, methods happen for you. If I tap on that layer and select the bottom preference which is reference, I'm now using that layer as a reference for my colors. So I'm going to create a new layer above that layer and anything I do in this layer will be using the layer one as a reference guide. So let's just pick one of the colors out of the palette here. And all I need to do right now is click off that. And then where you can see the color at the top here. Oops, I've just changed that. Sorry. I'll pick another color. And drag it and fill. Drag it and fill. Drag it and fill. And repeat that wherever you want to see. That particular color sometimes it helps to zoom in just so that you make sure that you're not going outside the lines so that's just a little tip in case you're having problem problems with dragging and dropping or color filling an area drag and drop dragging the color obviously you can do any color that you like as I said before drop color drop okay so because that's on its own layer you can change it you can change it for every single month make it different every month um, but what I would like to do you can either because when you drag and drop sometimes you're filling up some of the lines and some of the lines disappear so you can either select hit on the click click on the um, the layer and select multiply and then you can see your your colors your black lines underneath have uh, come back they're showing through or click it on normal and then tap on that layer and drag it below the other layer so that your color layer is now below the line layer there you go so what you've got so far is um, a color layer and a line layer on top so if I was to take the background if the the very bottom layer is the background color layer if I was to take that off right now turn it off you'd see that's what you're left with and if that's what you want uh, to save then you would just click on the wrench tool at the top left 
share and then choose PNG and save it to your camera roll. You could do that. But what I would suggest for uh, something extra is add another layer on top by clicking that plus button. Now I'm going to choose black again on a new layer. Now there are a set of uh, Create Pages brushes in my Etsy shop that you can also use to for all sorts of things, not just whole pages. I'm choosing the School Book Lines uh, brush for this. In that layer, I am now going to brush over the entire page with lines, and you'll see why in a minute. It looks a bit funny just at the minute. Now with the pointing selection tool, I'm going to pinch and drag until I'm happy with how big those lines are. Click off that. And then what I will do, sorry, I've just realized something I want to do first. So I'm going to turn that layer off. <clears throat> now using this refer reference layer again, I'm going to select the layer above it. Now I want to fill certain areas with white. And if I click off and look in here, you can see if I drag white into there, I'm now creating a white background. Now you don't have to do this for all of them, you don't have to do it for any of them. But I want to show you this little method where you can add lines to certain areas only, or all of it if you like, of this piece. Dragging in, bottom two boxes are left to go. There we go. Now, what I want to do is so that the lines show up again is grab that layer and move it below the black reference layer. Okay, so now what I want to do is double tap, double tap on the color wheel again and making sure I've got that book lines. Oh, hang on, we've already created that. Right, that's on top. Excellent. Okay. Now, but I want to tap on the white layer where I've dragged and dropped into the shapes and using the symbol at the top left of the screen, so you have gallery, then you have the wrench, then you have the magic wand and then the next tool across is another selection layer, um, icon. I'm not sure about the names of the tools. I should know, but I'm not that fabulous at knowing my names but that's the one you want so it's you've got gallery wrench magic wand and the next one tap on that now because I have the white layer selected when I tap I'm going to tap oh, sorry try again okay with that with that tool selected make sure down the very bottom you have the choice of freehand and automatic tap automatic that's where I went wrong so now if I tap in an area that I want, it'll select just those areas. So <clears throat> when I come back up to layers and I go up here to where my lines are, I'll just turn that off for a second so you can't see it. It doesn't matter, the layer is selected. But if I tap on that layer and then long press on the blue highlighted icon at the top left of the screen, and then down the very bottom to the right of where it says automatic, tap on that. You now have just those layers filled with the lines. I can actually delete the lines altogether. And now to adjust the opacity of the line so they're not quite as heavy, I'll just take the opacity down by clicking on that layer. And obviously if there's a line in there that you're not happy with, it's just out of place. You can just hit the eraser tool and erase a line. You can shift them. Yeah, that's fine. Just like that. And that could be called done. You could take that, uh, obviously, with taking off the background layer, you could take that into good notes, into your journal, and type, type on the... Uh, on the areas or you could handwrite your days let me just see planners I'll choose my best marker so <clears throat> excuse me 
on a new layer again. I might actually merge the lines down into the so that's all together now. And on a new layer above that, with my marker pen, I could just start writing. Notes, and you could write in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and anything that you wanted to do in the green panels down the bottom. So there's that option, you could save it like that. Uh, there's something else you could do, and where is it? Okay, here we go. Day, date, month. With that, they're selected and a new layer. I like to work in new layers all the time so I can move things around. So I've got that uh, brush now selected. I don't want all of it, <clears throat> so I'll use the eraser tool and I'll get rid of. and all I want to do now is I can actually I can get rid of these I will be creating later on I'll create a Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday version of this I won't show it in the video but the um, the brushes that you do get in the set will be month of Monday, Monday to Wednesday planner and a Sunday Thursday to Sunday planner so that's what you get in this particular set, three brushes. Okay, so what I want to do on this layer, where I have the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, is separate them. And to do that, once again, I'll click that selection tool. This time I'm going to choose freehand rather than automatic. I'm just going to draw around them and then click on the pointer tool and move them where I want them click off. Okay, using that freehand selection tool again, drag it, click on the pointer, pointer tool. Now because I'm off the screen there's a little trick where if you click, if you hold down on the pointer tool you can then move your screen to where you want it, let go and then drag. pop that where you want it and lastly we'll go around the Wednesday click on the pointer tool and pop that where we want it done okay so now let's turn off the background layer so we have nothing in the back at all you can see it's all still there now click on the wrench tool at the top left and click on share Go down until you see PNG and you can either choose copy or save image wherever you like to save that. I'll just say save image. And let's now go out of Procreate. I'm going to open up Good Notes. I'll choose my uh, October. Open up that. I've already done one, but we'll do it again. Hitting, uh, just clicking on the page. Sorry, just a long press on the page is a really quick way to add image. Photos. <clears throat> and there it is there. So from when you bring it in, you can just resize it to however you like it. And then click off. And it is there for you. It's that simple. And like I said, you can change the colors anytime for every month. That's it.